Okay, so we're getting some patient feedback now, which is a good sign. And that's me. Can you see I'm in the joint there now? Yeah. Can you see where that needle is? So lady has got a painful right second metatarsocanariform joint. Uh, we need to give this patient an enormous name. What should we call you, Jill? I think this could be a made up name. What about Gillian? Gillian. No, Gillian? Gillian. 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 Alright, Jill. So we know what she saw here. Exactly where, Jill? Yeah. Slightly a bit more. About, about there. About there. Okay. Just slightly to the okay. my right. Right, okay. So at that point there, okay. yeah. but we're going to do this under x-ray. So having marked up, well not, excuse me, not marked up, having um, palpated, we're now going to skin prep. So I kind of like these chlora preps, let's just see if that works in the camera, let's put it the right way around. So these are chlora preps, we really like these. Nice, single use, give them a little click and Big fan of iodine as well, but these are just nice and convenient. And then we bin that. It's a small joint, so we're going to use a small syringe. So for this one, two and a half mil syringe is about ideal. We're going to use a fairly wide bore needle to draw it with. Got blues at the moment. Ideally, we'd have a green, but it's one of those days where we have not got everything we want. So, talk amongst yourself while I do some rattling around. This is a bit where I could actually stop the video and carry on, but never mind, let's do it real time. So, a bit of Kenalog. We love Kenalog in a joint, triamcinolone. 40 mg, possibly a little bit less for a smaller joint. So, anywhere between 20 and 40 milligrams, which is half to one milliliter, is just nice. Give it a little bit of a whiz up. And then we're going to just draw up some, some catalogue. So I think actually about, pretty much about half a mil will do it. That's a nice amount for a second mechanism joint. If we've got the right pieces of paper, we can mix some local anaesthetic as well. So the horror that is a dental syringe. So the only good use of bipivacaine, it's quite a nice local anaesthetic. We're just going to put in the technical amount for that is a smidge, a smidge of local anaesthetic. Then we're not going to resheath, we'll just get rid of that needle, like that. And for these tiddly tiny joints, 27 gauge needle works really well. So it's 27, it's nice, it's small, it's whippy, it gets in that joint really nicely. And then there's our needle for injection. So there's our syringe. Put some gloves on, don't need to be sterile for these. Plaster, get that ready, just some Cosmopore. I'm allergic to an adhesive. All adhesive chilli, and we checked before that a patient was allergic. You're not allergic to Mephic, surely? Mm. You can't be. I'm allergic, even allergic to Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm going to edit that bit out. So we're going to send this patient home without a dressing, and just there'll be a small trail of blood leaving theatre. Mm. It's okay because she's an NHS patient, don't worry viewers, it's fine. And a little bit of clout. Okay, so um, I'll do some, some still images from the, uh, the x ray machine. So keeping your hand out of the way, first off, we'll just do a little check. Could a student, Could a student with me in theatre today? So I'm going to be speaking to my students as well. So, Louise, you can see the needle coming in from the side. Okay, so I'm a little bit distal, correction, a little bit medial. And I'm going to come in from that angle there. And that's just now it's just a little bit distal to the joint. So you can see where we're looking at is just here, the second mechanism. So 
Jill, little scratch. Three, two, one, ow. And we're going to test it out. Okay. Okay. So again, a little bit distal. So we we'll come up a little bit. This is why we do these under guidance. Oh, that felt good. Bit of claret. So these do bleed a little bit, guys. You see why we have the, uh, the cotton wool to hand? That feels really quite close. Oh, still a little bit distal. Okay, so we're getting some patient feedback now, which is a good sign. And that's me. Can you see I'm in the joint there now? Yeah. Let's see where that needle is. So, so can you see there's just a tiny bit of flashback in the needle, so which means we're really close to a bit of tubing. There is a bit of tubing around there, so we want to make sure we're away from that. And then that's going into the joint nicely now. But I could feel the needle go into the joint. And I'll ask it'll check x-ray just to tell. And I'll put these stills up in a set. That's going to come out gently, 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 and straight on with the compression. Check for any bleeding. No, that's okay. And that will do us.